What happens when you blend patriotism, Jesus, Christianity, and the New Age all together? When you choose to go against the sacred thing that God puts into the very heart and the soil of this nation, this was sacred to God. Now is the time to act. This is exactly why I need some action for my people. Samuel, Columbus, Shakespeare, Bacon, enter St. Germain, sponsor of the United States of America. He is the seventh angel prophesied in Revelation who comes to finish the mysteries of God. It's interesting that they're called mysteries. He's finishing those mysteries. He writes them in code, then he deciphers the code. He's the supreme interpreter of the code of Christ. He interprets the Piscean Age, restores to us the understanding not only of the message of the indwelling Savior, but also of the nation's state, the state of Israel, the community of the Holy Spirit. Saint Germain is the figure, the key cipher in the alchemy of the 20th century. He comes today as the master of the seventh ray and the imminent Aquarian or seventh age. You are your instrument of those sevenfold rays and all your archangels, all of them. And I am the instrument of those sevenfold rays and archangels, and I will not retreat. I will take my stand. We will not retreat. We will stand our ground. In his many incarnations upon earth, we have seen Saint Germain working out the equation of his personal Christhood on the seventh ray just as the Piscean Master Jesus manifested the fullness of his Christhood on the sixth ray in the sixth dispensation. <laughs> the Ascended Masters Jesus and Saint Germain as the Son and the Father passing the torch of the Christ Consciousness and the I Am that I Am for the Piscean and Aquarian dispensations, stand in the long history of the earth and her evolutions as the great deliverers of nations and peoples by the sacred fire of freedom and the salvation of the soul through the path of the ascension. And the salvation of the soul through the path of the ascension. Because of Jesus Christ and Saint Germain, I believe in the United States of America. How are you working out the equation of your Christhood, so well defined alchemically, geometrically, by Jesus Christ and Saint Germain on the sixth and seventh rays? How do you fit into the United States of America? What is the descent of the light of Christ of your tribe? What is its karma and dharma? Why do you believe in the United States of America? These are questions you must answer for yourself, your children, your friends, and for the future of our very nation itself. We know that the majority of the people do not understand the history of our inheritance of the covenants of God. The people do not understand the American's creed incorporating these very covenants made with Abraham and his descendants. But our founding fathers did understand themselves as the inheritors not only of the covenant, but of the science of the spoken word. They knew the mystery of the word as the person indwelling in them and as the principle by which the sacred fire of the I am that I am was released to give them their victory. They recited psalms and praises unto the Lord hour after hour 
on Sunday mornings in church. They understood the prophecy of Joel, that it would come to pass that whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord should be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. This is the Mount Zion and the Jerusalem. They believed the word, and they let the word flow through them. When you go to Williamsburg and you take a tour of the church that is there, the guide will tell you how they spent hours and hours in church every Sunday, reciting the Psalms in unison. They were giving their decrees, dynamic decrees, and that's how the 13 states were founded by that same sacred fire. And you can feel it crackling in that church. You can feel the purity in that community. This nation, Israel, the I am race, as the United States of America, cannot work unless the members of the community have at least the goal of Christhood, Christhood, and unless their leaders have the attainment of the Christhood and of the Christ consciousness and of the Christ consciousness. We have had very few real leaders in our history of 204 years. At the outset, when the nation's population was about three million, we had Washington, Franklin, Adams, Hamilton, and a handful of others. Today there are 240 million and a community of light bearers. Of light bearers. The attainment of the Christ consciousness is paramount. The attainment of the Christ consciousness is paramount. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. We believe in the United States of America because here is a community of individuals who made the decision to accept their patriotic creed, to accept the covenant of Almighty God, and make a go of it. It's called the American's Creed, not America's Creed. And that's the sign of America. It foretells the coming of the age of individualism. It's the creed of every individual, one by one by one, incarnating the Christ. Incarnating the Christ. Every individual unit of our society is the individual under the I am as The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. I made this video as another example of how the New Age and the church and patriotism are all coming together. This is Reawaken America. It's a spoof. I threw Elizabeth Clare Prophet in there because that is what you can see she was all about. But when did Jesus tell us to call down the angel of death on our enemies? They want anyone that opposes them to be dead. Well, I oppose them. What does that say? They might say that they're fighting against the world order, but what world order are they fighting against? They're fighting against the old world order. All followers of the plan whether they realize it or not. I used to be the follower of the plan. I didn't think I was as a Christian Gnostic. I thought I was against Satan and Lucifer. But no, I was an unknowing follower of the plan. I don't want to be a follower of the plan, and I'm not anymore. I'm a follower of God's plan and God's will.
It's laid out in the Bible. It's ridiculous. Wake up, people. If you are a New Ager, there is only one way, and that is Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no difference in what you believe if you're a New Ager, if you're an adherent of Mystery Babylon. There is no difference. You might subjectively think there is, but there's not. You are in line with Madame Blavatsky. You are in line with Alice Bailey. You are in line with Albert Pike. You are aligned with all the Theosophy greats, the Great White Brotherhood. What they are bringing in, you do not want. You, you claim that you want to fight against the Cabal. You claim you want to fight against evil. You claim all this. If you truly do, you'll stand with God and Jesus. Not with these charlatans and their mystery Babylon beliefs. That is the plan. The plan is evil. The plan will kill so many people. Repent and earnestly believe in Jesus Christ and God the Father. I praise God every single day. Every day that he saved me. Through his grace. I don't want anybody. There, there are a lot of people. Not every single person who believes this is evil, you guys. There are a lot of people who mean well. And I understand the heart is wicked. But there are a lot of people that are caught into their own delusion. They have the cutting lady spirit holding them tight. We have to pray for these people. We have to pray that they see the truth. That they turn from this wickedness and sin that will kill so many people. Run. There's just one name that can keep you out of hell, and it's the name of Jesus! The name of Jesus!